Hey everyone, Renee here from Floating Lights Photography, and today I want to show you how to add a sky overlay to an image. So I've selected an image here, and uh, we're going to add a sky to it just because this sky is super lame and boring and bland and not very pretty at all, so we want to add a sky. So the first thing you need to do is select your sky, and uh, there's a million ways to add a sky to an image. I do File Place, so you go up to File and then hit Place. Select the sky you want to import. I'm going to use 15 for this one. And I'm just going to resize it just a little bit. Just make it just a touch bigger. And then I'm going to move it up so kind of the horizon lines up with the horizon just maybe a little bit beneath that. And I'm going to hit OK. And now the next thing I do is I change the blend mode. So making sure that your sky is selected there in your layers, you can go up and change the blend mode. Um, sometimes I use darken, most of the time I use multiply. So I'm going to use that for this one. And that looks great to me. So I'm also going to mask off parts of the um, image that I want, kind of blend in the sky and, uh, and do it that way. So you need to add a layer mask to your sky. So you hit this little button down here, it pops up this little white box. Then you need to make sure when you're blending that you're using a black brush. And uh, I kind of start with my opacity maybe a little bit lower, 32 or 30-ish, and then I can start painting off the sky. One other thing, sorry, quickly that I do is I, I lower the opacity of the sky so that I can kind of see the image just a little bit better where the trees are and which parts I want to mask off. So uh, I'm just going to start masking here and uh, blending. So I'm just going to blend the sky a bit and uh, just kind of, I'm going to up my opacity here just a touch and do this part a bit. I'll make sure you get it off all your subjects face, face, body, skin, all that stuff. The multiply layer is really good with um, background images so the trees here I'm not too worried about that. They kind of look natural as long as you get it off the most part but as for all these little holes I'm not going to go through and nitpick for this image. I mean you can if you want to but it's not worth it for just tutorial purposes. So, and I'm just going to boost this up just a little bit more and just make sure I got it off all her face and her skin. All the parts that I don't want. So, that is good for me. So, I'm going to bring my opacity back up and kind of see how that looks. It looks like it's kind of blending well. So, one other thing I do is I uh, blur the sky. So, you're going to go up to filter. I do it using Gaussian Blur, so I go Blur, Gaussian, and I think for, oops, here's an error. Okay, so th this happened because I'm actually on my layer mask instead of on my sky overlay. So I'm going to cancel that and make sure my sky is um, selected. Then I'm going to go up to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. I think 4 or 5 is usually pretty good for me, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use 5 for this one and it just kind of blurs the background there, just makes the sky a little bit bokeh-y, if that's a word, I don't know, I think I just made it up. But uh, one other thing you can do, so, so we like the sky, but let's say it's not dark enough, so if you change your opacity all the way back up to 100, it's still not dark enough, there's one other thing you can do, you can duplicate this layer, and it's just gonna make a darker sky. So duplicate is Command J on a Mac, and I think it's Control J on a PC, so, there I've kind of brought my sky in. It's a little bit darker now and then you can adjust the opacity there too if it's too much or too little or, or however you like it. So that is how I add skies to an image and kind of boost them up. Thanks so much for watching.